Hello, this is Yo Sensei. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a simple topographic site model or sloped site. The steps are 1. Find the right scale for the model. 2. Creating topography. 3. Separating road and sidewalks. 4. Existing building. 5. Prepping a laser cut file. Okay, let's get started. So we will open the, this Rhino file that is in the link uh, you can find in the description. And we have this kind of situation where this is a site. And uh, in this model, this is a scale of a human and uh, this is built in a real scale. So we have to find the right scale. So in this situation, we are going to build a, a topography model around this area, including this building and a little bit of the site and then sloping uh, topography. The first thing that you're going to have to do is to decide uh, how big the model is going to be. So in this case, what we would like to do is to create this rectangle. And uh, in this case, we would like to build this model at 12 inches by 8 inches by 8 inches. So it's 12 by 8 by 8. So right now this model, this is how big the actual model is going to be. So today the scale that we are going to deal with is going to be 1 to 100 scale. So you can just copy this original box and then run scale command and then type, click on the origin point and type 100. So this is going to be how big the, the actual the model size in comparison to the scale of the of the building so now what we would like to do is to get this section of the model to somehow intersect with the part of the model so that it's going to show a little bit of the building a little bit of the road but mostly the topography area so this is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and then copy uh, all of these and then copy it here. And then at this point, we can hide the original one, <coughs> type hide, and then use this box to trim everything up. So type trim command and then just trim out everything that is outside of the, this boundary. And if it's not overlapping, you won't be able to trim. So you can just delete once. Okay. So now if you hide this box, this is model, what the model is going to be. And in this case, what we do is to, we have this kind of like building with slabs and then topography. Also, we would like to cut this topography at the line of the building. So you can just draw a line on the top view and then run trim command to cut out this landscape. So at this point, we would like to create a solid object that will include the sidewalk and the landscape and the road. So you can just join all of these together and it will become one continuous poly surface. And then we will also create a volume off of it. So using the 3D box tool, draw a box that is going to be including the topography and the sidewalks. Okay. So at this point, what you can do is to split the box with this, the topography set so that it's going to split at the bottom and top. So now we can just join the topography area and then half of the box, and then it will produce a closed solid poly surface. So that is going to be good for the base of the topography. So now what I would like to do is to create a new layer and then say football lines. And in this layer, we can just use this, move this object into this layer. So at this point, what we can do is to run contour command to the step line. 
And then it is one to 100. So what you can do is to run a topography line at 12 inches is going to give you about one eight inch of the topography in model scale. So we can do that. So contour and then beginning of it is here and the end is here and then uh, run 12 inches. So that's going to give us this kind of topography line and uh, you can just hide this original one. So at this point, what we can do is to just extrude each of the piece at 12 inches. 12 inches. So that way we can get this kind of topo line. But in our case, we would like to kind of use the line of the sidewalk and the road. So we can show selected the positional topography here. And then what we can do is to take this line from the sidewalk and the, and the road and then use that as a separate layer. So what we can do is to dupe edge uh, of this part and then this part. And that's deep edge is going to extract the line from existing surface. So hide this one. So we do have these two lines. So what we can do in this situation is that I think this, this layer is going to come down to this. So I guess we can just get rid of this, this part. And then that's going to be our sidewalk layer. And then one below is going to be our main road layer. So this one, we are going to split with this line and then just get rid of it. Get rid of this part and then you, we don't need this one. So that's, that's the road and that's going to be one layer below. And then this part, we can then also split with this one so that we will have this would be the road layer, and this is the side layer, a sidewalk layer, and this is the first topography. We can try to cap this one. The cap command only works when the hole is planar. So in this case, the hole is not planar. What you can do in this case is to run loft command and then select these edges and then join this edge with the rest of it so that when you jo run join command then it will become as a whole okay. so that is our topography okay. and then in this case what we can do is that our slabs are kind of showing as two feet thick in the roof as well so what we can do at this point is to run building layer. And then for this one, we can just create another layer, activate this. And then you can just draw a box here. And then at this point, 12 inches. And then you can just copy this box here on the floor and uh, so we you will be double creating double layers of the building themselves having triple layer at the bottom is okay but i think we can get away with one less layer so now here's our bottom and then you can just copy this base piece down I think this bottom base piece is going to have to be slightly smaller than the, the last scape. So you can run a scale 1D command to reduce this. Okay. And then at this point, you can just rotate and copy this box from this side so that this will become our face. 
and then you can run scale on the command to reduce the height of this and then copy this part. Okay, so now we have a pretty good site model candidate. So we are going to scale it and then prepare a laser cut file. So yeah, I'm deleting unnecessary faces. Okay, so this is pretty good. So the next step is to produce the laser cut file. So what we can do is, so right now this is a real scale and it is reading at 100 inches. Uh, so that's, that's huge. So now we will copy this file again and then scale it down to 100 to 1. So run scale command and then click on the origin point and then type 1 over 100. So now we have this model that the scale of it is going to be 8 inches by 12 inches. Okay, so that's, that's nice. So now we are going to select this one and then copy this one. And then start with, and then hide uh, this one. And then start with the topography. So what you can do is to select, there is going to be the first one first layer. So you can select everything but the first layer. And then deselect the first layer, move it out of the way. And then next, control click to deselect the next layer. And then move it out of the way. Control click for the next layer. Move. Control click and move. Control click. And move. Control click. And move. Oops. And move. You can delete this frame. So in this case, it's relatively easy because all of the edges are shared at the bottom side, and that way you have the coordinates. But sometimes it doesn't work this way. So if that's the case, you're gonna have to put numbers or something to kind of like keep it to be easy for you to understand. So in this case, we have this piece that is this one here and this piece that is oops, second roof here. These are the same objects, so you can just copy to produce the rest of it. But I'm going to just lay them out in a way that it, there is much, not much space in between. So now we have these vertical pieces which I'm going to rotate and then that's going to be good. So, so we have this kind of layout. So we know that our laser cutter bed is 32 by 18. So you can draw 32 inches by 18 inch box. So I guess the topography part is going to be pretty much the same layout. So you can just kind of try to lay, lay this out in a way that everything kind of fits in the space. So this one is for the topography. If you change orientation, be careful about not losing the orientation of the model. So this one is the topography part, and then this one is going to be the building part. Okay. So the final step in this is to make 2D command. So you can select all of these and then run make 2D command. And then I think just the default should be, you don't need hidden lines and uh, this one should be fine. So say okay. And that will produce a model somewhere in near the origin point of your file. And uh, so this one will be the topography part and this one is going to be the building part and then you will laser cut these files and then assemble it so the last step is to select the part of the topography go to file export selected and then the file format in this case is going to be adobe illustrator and 
Topo. And then the rest is going to be building 01. Okay. So this concludes the model making file prep section of topography modeling. I hope this was helpful. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.